What's going on everybody, my name is Monatui and today I'm bringing you guys a UU Live on Pokemon Showdown. Now I haven't done a live in a while, I've kind of been caught up in college and um, the PPL, so <clears throat> I figured I'd get back into the laddering. Uh, this is a team I built for Shoddy, because he was looking for a team around Mega Aerodactyl and uh, Subcomai Chandelure, and it actually became pretty popular over Twitter, not super popular over Twitter, but like, so there's some was like, yo, this is a great team, Shoddy enjoyed it, he did well with it, so I'm actually going to go over it really quick. So we got Mega Aerodactyl uh, in the UU tier, running Jolly Max Speed, make sure you speed tie with other Mega Aerodactyls. Um, and you can run like Adamant if you want, but I always find it silly when people just like lose because they couldn't win a speed tie potentially. Like, uh, it kind of just gives you the best chance to potentially win. So, yeah, Stone Edge, Aerial Ace, Dual Stab, Earthquake, this is primarily for Empoleons on the tier, and then Ice Fang, this is because Gligar is stupid. Now, um, could replace Ice Fang with Fire Fang for, um, uh, Fortress, but I prefer Ice Fang just because I hate Gligar, and Fortress is dealt with by Chandelure, uh, and Pangoro relatively well, as well as Vaporeon, so it's not a super big issue for the team. Um, next up we got... Chandelure, um, so come on, like I said, this spread here allows me to not have my sub broken by a Florgis's Moonblast, um, this amount of HP, uh, so it'll do under 25%, meaning I can set up a sub even without Calm Mines, uh, that way I can dodge a potential Toxic and then obviously set up from there, so that's, uh, good there. Flintthor, Shadow Ball, Calm Mines, sub, relatively standard spread, uh, but yeah, next up we have Heliolisk. Uh, Choice Scarf Heliolisk. This is to make sure I can deal with uh, DD for Alligator a little bit better. Uh, originally it was Life Orb, but Shoddy changed it to Scarf, and I think this is better for the team. Um, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hyper Voice, and then Surf. Surf is to hit Gligar, super effective. Uh, it also hits. Um, what else is in the tier that gets hit by Surf? Arcanine. Um, it hits a couple things in the tier. Uh, you can change this up for things like Grass Knot for Swampert, or um, HP Ice to hit Gligar harder, or things like that. Maybe an HP Fire for Veteran. Well, I don't really need HP Fire, but <coughs> yeah, this is the Helios spread. Um, so these three Pokemon are actually on my in, uh, DDL team, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but they do work well together, hence why I did draft them. Uh, but next up, we have our physically defensive Fortress, Gyro Ball, Rapid Spins, Rock, and Toxic. Uh, toxic is just so that things cannot become set up fodder on me. Uh, max physical defense. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this thing's pretty useful. Uh, it toxics the um, Arcanine on the switch in, which is really good. Uh, can toxic the Darmanitan on potential switch ins, things like that. Um, yeah, plus which it pairs well with Chandelure, obviously. Um, this thing being immune and this thing being four times weak to it helps a lot. Uh, next up, we have a Life Orb Pangoro with enough speed to outspeed uninvested Rotoms. Uh, we have Knock Off, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, and Dunk Shot. Um, originally, I had SP on it, but I realized I wanted the four moves, and Pangoro is tough to make a setup sweeper because of how slow it is, but it still hits extremely hard. There's almost no switch into this. Um, with this spread, I also have Speed Forges, so Ed can get OCO'd by a Dunk Shot uh, as long as you hit it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then last up, we have our Physical Defensive Vaporeon. Uh, this was originally a Florgis, but I realized that my team got 6-0'd by Entei. Or Shadi noticed that this team got 6-0'd by Entei, so we just added on Florgis, um, Vaporeon instead of Florgis. So it's called Heal Bell Wish, Baton Pass. I've never used a Wishmon without Protect before, but this has actually seemed to work out pretty well. Uh, getting a slow Baton Pass into something else. It might allow Vaporeon to get weakened over time a little bit more, but if I need it, I can be careful with it. So, uh, yeah, that is the team. Um, it's also cool to have two water immunities when I have these two here. Uh, so, that was a kind of a long intro. Feel free to skip to... Well, I mean, I guess if you're here, you didn't skip. Or you did skip our... Anyway, look, we're gonna find a battle. I'll be right back. God fucking... Come on. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, we have found... That's awkward. Anyway, uh, we found a match. Uh, just... So you guys get a general understanding. I am currently 1352 on the ladder, 25 on the ladder. And we will move through that today. Uh, my opponent has a pretty scary team. Uh, me and Shao, always an issue. Uh, Haxorus could be scary. Um, I believe Aerodactyl does not have speed. Adam and Aerodactyl as well. Um, 
Angora was a pretty big threat to the team, but he has no switch into a drain punch. Um, I am going to lead with... Hmm. I'm going to lead with Helios. As he leads with Napoleon, that's uh, perfect for me. Um, I could... Yeah, I think I'm going to click Hyper Voice. Predicting the Jolteon to come in. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Uh, it's going to do about 50%. I'm going to click Hyper Voice again, as this time I do get a better roll and knock out the Jolteon. That's great. I can spam Bolt Switch as much as I want. Here he's going to go out into Mian Shao. Uh, I'm just going to go right out of my for uh, Fortress. As he clicks U-turn, that's fine. I don't believe. I don't think I'll get back to leftovers or get back to um, whatever. No, I'm not. All right. So let's see. Um, What's his priority? Honchkrow... Honchkrow is an issue for this team as well. Um, I think I'm going to get out my own rocks. He's actually going to go for Yawn, that's totally fine. I am going to be able to get back up to 30, which is good. Uh, here I'm going to go back out and heal you As he's just about to solve, that's great. Um, now I'm just going to click people. It'll kill KO the Empoleon. Um, Axis doesn't necessarily want to switch in, he's going to Yawn again. A little annoying. Um, uh, Shandalore is not doing much this match other than stopping me and Shao from clicking high jump kick, which I have a switch into into Fortress. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go Shandalore. Yeah, you're just gonna go for the defog, that's fine. Uh, here I can just click uh, Flamethrower, as it will knock out the Empoleon. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how experienced my opponent is, but. Uh, you know, no offense to him. Here, let me check, actually. There's Mian Chow. Um, like I said, the channel is not doing much, so I'm just gonna click Flamethrower. Like, I can never live a knockoff, and I can just hit this thing with the Flamethrower. And burn him. Okay. So that's, that's good. Uh, and he's gonna forfeit. Okay. Let me just check where he was. Ask Eris... Eris Swaggy. Okay, so they played a lot of games. Um, okay. Alright, well that was the first one that showcased the team all pretty well. Uh, I will be right back with one more battle, and I'll be right back. Why did I fucking say that twice? Anyway, I'll be right back. Three times? Okay, we are back. My opponent also has Mega Aerodactyl. He has uh, Infernape as well. Um, honestly, if I can get rid of Double Aid, Mega Aerodactyl puts in a lot of work. And get rid of Reuniclus, um, assuming it's physically defensive. So every time he comes in with Reuniclus, uh, Pangoro gets a kill. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to lead with Infernape, so I am actually going to lead with my Chandelure. Uh, do I want to do that? Or do I want to lead Aerodactyl? I think I'm going to lead Aerodactyl. As he actually does lead Doubly. Okay, so here I am going to switch out my Vaporeon. I was thinking about switching into Pangora or Chandelure. Well, um, Pangora or Helios, but... A little silly, he's going to go right for the SD. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, here I'm just going to go for the Skull. Um, I'm not entirely sure if a plus 2 Shadow Claw will do a KO me, but I will be able to get two Skulls off in that time. Kind of weird going for the SD immediately, but um, you know, it is what it is. I do really like this team as well. I know a lot of other people liked it, like I said earlier, but I am pretty proud of this team. Uh, that is not going to do too much damage. He's going to keep setting up Swords and Amps. Um, Alright. Well, uh, yeah, there's the burn. So, and there's the Sacred Sword. So, okay. That's the uh, danger of setting up early. And now he's just going to go for a Shadow Sneak. Okay. And I think I'm going to stay in and just click Skull. As he goes out into Reuniclus, that's fine. Um, do get the burn, but he is likely Magic Guard. Uh, yes, he is. Okay. Here, I am going to go out into my Pangoro. He seems like the type of guy who likes to set up, so if he starts setting up a Combine now, that'll be fine. Also, Pangoro can take one Focus Blast. Uh, it'll kind of suck to get that much damage on it, but, um, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> Reuniclus is very bulky, but it will not be able to take a Life Orb knockoff. And he, like I said earlier, he does not really have a switch in. Like, Aerodactyl doesn't want to take it. Hydreigon, 
uh, getting rid of Hydreigon's item can be very useful. As he does go for the Focus Blast, okay, good plan on his part. Uh, the Death Drop doesn't really matter. Uh, now I'm just going to click Knock Off, so that sucks losing uh, Pangora this early as he is going to stack off his Double Aid. Um, okay, so that was a good play on his part, unfortunately. Uh, that happened like it did, but, um, you know, it's gonna happen. Uh, here I am going to go out into Fortress. As he goes out into Aerodactyl, that is fine. Uh, he does not have hazard removal, so I'm just going to get up my rocks. Uh, because he has Focus Blast, that likely means he does not have Shadow Ball. Uh, here he's going to go out into his normal axe, that is totally fine. I'm going to attempt to go for a Toxic if he's immune, even though well. Uh, he has Curse Lax, so he might be, he's probably thick fat. Uh, and no, he is immune to Alright, so here I'm going to go out into Chandelure. Uh, if he is the standard Curse Lax, he should not have a move to hit me. Uh, here I am just going to go for the Substitute as he goes for the Earthquake, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, Alright, so I just gotta kinda wear this thing down, I have to let my Chandelure go, unfortunately, as he's able to knock me out with the plus two Earthquake. I believe I've lost this game uh, due to my own idiocy, but uh, we'll see what happens. I believe he's actually Resto Chesto, because he didn't show leftovers. Yeah, he's gonna be left Resto Chesto, I believe. Alright, so, this is gonna be a little bit of a tough battle. Uh, I don't think I have a chance to win. At this point, letting go of Pangoro was a very big mistake. Uh, he is going to get the rest off, and there's the Chesto Berry. Hopefully I will be able to burn him with this next Skulb. Uh, that will give me a slight chance against him. Uh, no, no burn there, Body Slam. Um, I kind of need the burn now. And we do not get it, so that is likely going to be game. Uh, unless I can crit him with the Stone Edge here. <laughs> um, as I do not, though he does only have Body Slam to hit me, so I uh, could, 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 could crit him here. Could crit him here. I don't. Okay. And he's gonna set up another curse. Okay, that's one more chance for me to crit him. So I'll likely miss. Yeah, sorry, it's gonna happen. Uh, he's gonna rest now, okay. Alright, I just need to, like, crit him. Voice. Nope. Come on, Aerodactyl, you can do it. Come on, he's got so much body attack. He definitely land a direct hit. Come on. Nope. Nope. Man, there's the body slam. Okay, so this game is likely over. I'm just gonna go heal list. If I maybe like crit parry him with Thunderbolt, then that'll be it, but I can't really do anything else. Uh nope, I'm just gonna go down and that is a GG. Um my fault entirely, should not have let my Fangora go down. Uh, I guess Curse Lax is also an issue for the team. But generally, Curse Lax doesn't have a move to hit Candle Ward. They just Spadef, Curse, Rebrock, Rest, Body Slam. Uh, but that can definitely be an issue, but can't plan for everything in the tier. Um, plus, if I had just not let my Pangoro go down, we would have been fine. Uh, so we got another battle here, and once again, Pangoro looking like a huge threat. Um, every time Cloakin comes in, I knock the knock off every time. Uh, Gligar is in. I'll probably click knock off. Um, I think I am going to lead with. Actually, Aerodactyl is a huge threat as well. He has nothing for that. I'm going to lead with Aerodactyl. As he's going to lead Gligar, this is fine. I'm going to Mega Evolve and click Ice Bang. Uh, as I will be able to do a nice chunk of this Gligar. As he clicks New Time, that is totally fine. He is now in range of my Heliolus Hyper Voice. Uh, here I am going to go right out in my Vaporeon, as he reveals the Scarfed more than likely. Um, here I am going to just click Baton Pass. I could set up throw up a Wish, but uh, no real point. He's probably going to go out into Slow King. So here I can just go out into Pangoro and click Knock Off. Uh, this thing cannot live, I believe, even if it is physically defensive, it will go down. Um, and nothing else wants to switch in. If I get rid of the Scarf, then that's great. You can go out to Obama spell. Also totally fine. Um, I will just be able to click Drain Punch here. Nothing that you can really do about it. And I should outspeed this unless he is at max speed Obama snow. And even then, I believe I can take one Blizzard. But, uh, yeah, we will see. 
Um, he does not have anything to switch in. Like, he can switch in Gligar, but I do have the Ice Punch, like I said, uh, and I will just be able to knock that thing off. So he is going to go right for the Ice Shard. That's totally fine, because I will get most of my health back with the Drain Punch anyway. And Pangoro gets first kill of this match. That is good. Uh, here, his best option would probably be to go out into his Gligar. Uh, but no, he's actually going to go out into Entei. That is fine, I will be able to go out into my Vaporeon. And he goes through the Flare Blitz, and he reveals to be, I believe that is Bandit Damage. Um, and unfortunately, because of the Hail, he will be able to knock me out, but I can go into Chandelure here. And just... Actually, uh, I think I'm going to click Flamethrower here, because it's going to go into Hydreigon. Actually, um, no, I will click Sub. And he's actually going to go Gligar, okay. I am totally fine with that. Uh, here I am just going to click Flamethrower, and knock out the Gligar. Very glad I set up the Sub with Chandelure. Um, here he's going to go out into his Hydreigon, but this Flash Fire boosted Flamethrower should do a lot of damage, as it does. Uh, and here I can go out on my Pangoro, he's locked in the Dark Pulse. Uh, if he wants to predict that, then good play, but uh, this is just a free... Nope, he is going to go back out in Ante. Okay, good play on his part. Uh, and at this point I am going to sack off my Vaporeon. To whatever move he wants to go for. He does go for the Flare Blitz again, but that once again just gives me... Um... Actually no, I'm going to go into Aerodactyl. Am I? Chandelure, Aerodactyl... Yes, I'm going to go out to my... No, I think Chandelure is better. And I'm just going to click Flamethrower. He doesn't really have a switch into it. He's going to go Hydreigon. Uh, this is going to do a decent chunk of damage, and I do get the burn, unfortunately, for him. Um, here, I can't let my Chandelure go down. Um, I think I'm actually going to go into my Fortress, predicting a Draco. I don't think he'd go for Dark Pulse with my Pangora around. He does, that is a little unfortunate. Um, Fortress can't really do much for me, so I am just going to sack it off. Um, Rocks would have been nice, but I can't really set him up. Uh, Lucario just sets up on me, uh, sloping hit space, so uh, it's fine. Uh, here I am going to... Let's see... I think my best play is Heliolus. As he goes in Slow King. Here I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. He will be able to do a decent amount to me with Psy Shock, but I die to two extreme speeds anyway, from either his Lucario or his Entei. And Thunderbolt should be able to do a KO the Slow King, unless it is a very bulky Assault Pass variant. It's not. So he's going to hit me with the Psy Shock that does under 50%. If he wants to switch out here, he's going to be taking a lot of damage on something else. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so Thunderbolt is my best play. Uh, no real point in going out to Pangoro. Uh, though at this point, Pangoro and Keyleus are pretty useless. Um, let's see, he actually is going to switch out into Lucario. That is interesting, to say the least. Um, Alright, so once again, I'm just going to click Thunderbolt if he wants to kill me with the E-Speed. Oh, Vacuum Wave. Okay, so he has a special Lucario. That is fine. Here, I just have to go into my Aerodactyl and click Aerial Ace. Um, yeah, Aerial Ace is my best play because he put it Slow King. I believe I can do a KO that thing. He's just going to go for the Vacuum Wave. Doesn't use amount of damage, but I'm still not in range of NT's E speed, so we are fine. <laughs> His play now would have to be to go out into Slow King but I will switch directly out into my, um... Actually, let me think what my best play is. It's actually could... What do you think? I think my best play is actually to go into Chandelure. Because if I switch out into my... You know, no, Pango is my best play. No. Let me think. Hmm. No, 
Tango is my best play. Okay. And he actually goes for Slash Shock. Um, he had no reason to make that play. Salt was easily his best play, but that's totally fine. I will be able to get a kill here. And now he is forced to lock himself into... Uh, no matter what he locks himself into, it's totally fine for me. If he locks himself into Flare Blitz, then I go under Chandelure. Uh, if he locks himself into E Speed Refine, yeah, he's going to forfeit. Okay, so that was a good game, much better game than the last one, definitely. Um, so yeah, that was good. Uh, let's see, how long have we been going for? 20 minutes? I will get one more for you guys, uh, just to make up for that one crappy battle where I suck. So, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Uh, my opponent has a pretty interesting team, uh, very offensive. Uh, he's using a Trevenant, which I haven't seen in forever. I think it went down to RU recently. Um, so Mega Agron, Mammoth Swine, um, Azelf. He's actually got three potential rockers, um, but let's see. I think Shan uh, Fortress is my best play. He is going to lead Azelf. Um, I am just going to take Gyro Ball. If he has the Fire Blast, that's fine. Uh, but no, he's going to switch out in a Tenacruel. Cool. Uh, that is fine as well. Uh, judging by that damage, I believe this is a special defense Tenacruel, kind of cool, maybe? Could be physically defensive, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, my best play now is to just go out into Heliolisk. As he just clicks Stall, that is fine with me. Uh, and I think I am just going to click Hyper Voice. It'll do a decent amount of damage to this kind of cruel. Um, and if he switches out into Mammoth Swine, then that is fine. If he switches out into Aggron, then that'll be a little unfortunate, but I don't think he will, because he doesn't want to take the Volt Switch or the Thunderbolt. <sighs> uh, if he actually goes Gasheron, that's totally fine. Uh, so I do unfortunately crit him, which means... Uh, I believe another Hyper Voice will knock him out. Uh, as it does not, uh, that's the second time I've made that mistake. Um, if you watch the last TPL match, you'll know. Um, but actually, I am totally fine with that. Uh, he did have a trend. Yeah, as well as that could actually be scarred. So, um, I'm totally fine with giving that up. Uh, now I am going to go out into my Aerodactyl. And she's going to go all and click, um, Earthquake. It decides to switch in his aggro on Around 30, but he does decide to stack off the Gasheron, totally fine play on his part. Uh, now he can probably go out in a Mammoth Line and click Ice and Crash or Self Rock if he's running it. Um, to which I will probably get the no Mammo. Uh, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna go up with Corian. I want to threaten this thing immediately. He is going to go for the Ice Crash. Uh, that is not Life Orb damage, so it is likely sashed. Uh, here I am going to click the Stalled. As he does go out in the Trevenant. That uh, is totally fine, you get the burn, and he is a Chesto, not Chesto, uh, he is a Citrus Berry set. So that's great. Here I'm gonna baton pass out into Fortress and just get myself rocks up. He does not have, well, he is kinda cruel, but um, yeah, that's fine. Just gonna go for my rock series, going to burn me, that is also fine. Um, so he's gonna get his health back. I don't think he's going to go for the Double Willow, so I am going to go out into Pangoro. And if he just goes for the Shadow Ball, that's totally fine, and I believe I get a kill here. Uh, I'm just going to click Knock Off. If he wants to go out into Aggron, that's totally fine, but he is going to let his Trevenant go down. That is totally fine. Um, yeah, Angora can also get a kill. Not a kill, but it can beat the Aggron, I believe. Uh, so he actually goes kind of cruel. Uh, that's totally fine with me. I'm just gonna click knock off again. Uh, if he just stalls me. Uh, unless he gets the burn, which he just not. Alright, so Hazard for there to stay. Uh, and Pangoro snags another kill. And I still have the... Yeah, I need to get him for it. I still have the Vaporeon and the Chandelure for the Aggron, so... That was a good game. Um, because that was kind of short, I am going to get one more for you guys, so I will be right back. This will definitely be the last one, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. My opponent has an interesting team. Also has a team of all shinies, so I'm not entirely sure of his competence, but, um, his team gets completely destroyed by Aerodactyl. Like, um, honestly, his best switch in, other than Porygon 2, is Avalog. Um, his entire team are Porygon, if he's the Rock, and has no hazard removal, so I think I'm just gonna lead with Forachip. As he leads Galvantula, I'm just gonna go for Sulfur Rock, I have no reason not to. Here I can just spam, uh, Rapid Spin. 
until this guy actually goes down, honestly. MC is going to drop a thunder. He does get the para, unfortunately, but I am able to break through and get off the rapid spin. Um, I'm just going to keep clicking rapid spin at this point. Uh, the para is really annoying, actually. Um, that really sucks. Uh, so he does miss though, so that is good, as I do land the next one. Now I do just have to keep clicking, ra ra clicking rapid spin. Uh, hopefully I do not get paralyzed <laughs> as he uh, goes through his web. And he just decides to knock me out with thunder, that is totally fine. Uh, this, at this point, I can... Let me count this real quick. Um, gotta count a couple things. Aerodactyl, OU Offensive, Jolly, Max Attack, no one uses the spread. Uh, Galvantula, you use Suicide Lead. Aerial Ace does 72 to 85, uh, so it would be a roll. What about Heliolith? Are you Special Attacker? Uh, Hyper Voice. 69 to 82. Okay, so I'm gonna go Aerodactyl. I'm gonna risk the speed tie, or not the speed tie, the, uh, the roll here. As I am able to knock him out, so he cannot get up web. And I, uh, also earlier I said he has no hazard removal. I forgot Avalog does get rapid spin. As he is going to go out in Avalog, um, totally fine by me. I am going to go right out in the Chandelure. As he just goes for the Avalanche. Um, that is totally fine. Here I'm going to go for the Substitute. If his Porygon 2 has Trace, then I will not be able to touch it, but he instead decides to go out an Arcanine, and it is a Flash Fire Arcanine. That is totally fine with me. Um, I'm just going to click Shadow Ball here. I believe this is a speedy Arcanine, as he does have the Wild Charge. Um, totally fine with me. Um, I don't want my Chandelure taking damage, because I would like- why do you want an offensive Arcanine and a Darmanitan? Um, anyway, I don't want Chandelure getting weakened because I can set up on the Avalog as well as potentially the Porygon too. Uh, so, instead I am actually going to go out into... nothing. Alright, Chandelure. Alright, you eat it anyway, you're good. Yeah, that's totally fine. I can still set up a sub on the, uh, the ice thing. Uh, here he's gonna go into Porygon 2, and he does not have Trace, so that's good to know. Uh, here... I think I am going to go for the Calm Mind. If he goes for Toxic, then that would be kind of a weird play, because I just revealed sub. Uh, but he is going to go for the Discharge instead, and he paralyzed me again, so that is unfortunate. Uh, I'm just gonna click Flamethrower now. Yeah, there's no point in not. Uh, but that's totally fine, because now I go into Pangoro and just click Drain Punch. Um, actually, no, I'm going to click Knock Off. I want to get rid of this thing. Eviolite, um, as he goes for the Try Attack. That does a lot. Can you not? Can we not, please? Alright, alright. I forgive you. Game. I forgive you. Alright, so Corian 2 is down. That is very good. Um, at this point, Corian... I don't know why you can your brain punch. Avalog is really good, but I don't think it's really good. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't think you can take a brain punch. A light orb brain punch from a panda. Yeah, no. Alright, so thanks to the HD dude. He is right. Well, never mind, because you're Rocky Helmet, but uh, either way, point still stands. Uh, no matter what he goes into, I'm going to sack off Pangoro here. And if he does go into Darmanitan. As I can just click knock off. As he does go for the earthquake. Uh, now I just win the game with my Aerodactyl. I can just click earthquake. Okay, nope, he's gonna forfeit. Alright, but there I just clicked earthquake. Uh, I believe a rock slide does not knock out Aerodactyl. If it did, I still had my Surf. Heliolus with Surf and the Ace fully physically fences the Corian. Uh, but that is going to be the end of this live. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like the game as much as I do. Um, if you guys want to use it, feel free to go ahead. I showed off the team earlier, so feel free to see how you do with it. Uh, but yeah, that is all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.